how much damage can this little guy do? It's a little tiny lipo battery. Seems harmless, right? We all use them in our planes, boats, cars, trucks, you name it, they're everywhere. In this video, I'm gonna show you how dangerous lipo batteries can really be when things go south. Now, if that seems interesting, let's hop into this. Welcome back to Innovation RC, guys. As you can see, we are back at my OG spot here in Florida. Now, I was told to test out a couple LiPo bags, and I was under the assumption, hey, I'm just gonna put some batteries in there, test the capacity, make sure everything's all good, make sure how, you know, just see the structure of it and whatnot. And he replied, that's not what I mean, dot, dot, dot. Now, if you guys are hyped, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. And I will certainly say, do not try to recreate this kind of video because it's gonna be extremely dangerous and I'm gonna try to control it as much as possible. But uh, once it goes off, there's no going back. So hopefully everything goes well. We have two LiPo bags that we are gonna be testing out today. We have your generic smaller pocket one. Uh, it's got some decent size to it, but it's not 100% sealed. So we are gonna be testing this one out. And we also have the new LiPo bags from CNHL. Uh, hopefully it could actually retain and contain all the smoke and whatnot and hopefully none of the fire gets out and hopefully the bag doesn't get destroyed uh we're gonna see how well this guy does we are gonna be blowing up three batteries today I have a little tiny one over here it is a three cell 850 milliamp this is going to be basically our warm-up battery and i will actually blow it up hopefully in this guy up next we are going to have a much larger battery this is from Power Hobby, and keep in mind, it's just an old battery, so it's really puffed up. And I wasn't using it anymore, so I had to get rid of it just to save some space. I'm going to dispose of it the irregular way today. This guy is actually good. There's nothing wrong with him. And it's a 6-cell, 6 6,000 milliamp black edition from China Hobby Line. Yeah, I'm just taking a loss on this one, guys. This battery is actually good, and I actually use them with Spartan on his warm-up passes, usually around 130, 140 miles an hour. But we are not gonna be blowing this guy up in either one of these bags. Reason being, I wanna see what a battery is gonna be like blowing up outside of the bag. And hopefully I'm gonna control it as much as possible, and hopefully there's not much uh, residue. So make sure you guys watch to the end. This is gonna be the grand finale, and this is gonna be the absolute biggest explosion uh, yeah, so hopefully everything is, you know, well. Now, as for the safety precautions here, guys, I have a pair of gloves over here that I'm gonna be wearing to touch the bag and do whatever, take the battery out, and we're just gonna diagnose what we experience. Now, if the fire wants to travel, we have uh, some easy fire spray. All we gotta do is point and shoot. I guess we'll test it out over here, guys. Look at that, it looks like milk. It almost looks like baby vomit. Yeah. And why I have that metal plate out over here, that is now really, really hot. I'm actually gonna place the big old thick cell on top of it, and we're gonna see what a LiPo will do outside of a bag. So we're also going to experience what happens if you aren't prepared. So yeah, hopefully that'll hold up and not scorch the ground and keep some stuff safe. I have some pliers over here too, in case I need to pick something up without using my bare hands or even the gloves. You never know, you know, you might need some uh, Mr. Krabs tongs over here, might help. Now, why do we have Thrust Arrow out here, guys? Really, it's because he can push a lot of wind from like at least 10 feet away. So if anything gets out of hand, I can actually move and dictate wherever the smoke is gonna go from these lipos going up with this special ability. So from the grass to where I'm standing is about eight feet. And it's really blowing all the way back to here, which is more so near probably around 20 feet. So I thought it'd be necessary and pretty cool to actually bring him along. If you guys want to see more Thrust Arrow, we have his original video right up there. So make sure you click it. All right, so you guys can see I have my little micro torch here. It's like 20 bucks from Harbor Freight. You can't go wrong with it. I actually use it to solder a little bit. So we're actually going to apply a direct flame uh, and we're just going to see what it's going to be like. All right, here's this one. Going to have a go here. All right, well, the flame was directly onto it and it burnt right through. Now here is the CNHL bag and it does feel a little bit better, a little bit more robust than your generic uh, LiPo bag. Uh, so we're gonna see what this one's like. Wow, it's taking a lot longer. Look at that, it's a lot longer. Come on, there we go. There we go, now it did it. So there was a significant difference between how long it took for that one to go through 
and this guy. So I have here an Innovation RC Edition 10,000 milliamp battery that is going to power this charger via DC. Uh, that means it's not gonna be plugged into an outlet and it's going to be directly powered from the battery. We can see here, plug right in and it turns right on. So we are all plugged up to the charger and I'm gonna hopefully do this pretty quick so the charger doesn't overheat. And before we even do this, there is a little bit of a downwind, but we need to see exactly where that wind is going. I'm gonna throw that up. It's going slightly that way, so it's perfect. And if the wind decides to change, well, we have our own little ounce of wind over there. So we got our own wind. All right, so I am actually going to stand probably around five to 10 feet away. We have another GoPro over there, so I'm actually safe. Halfway there, we have our uh, fire putter outer liquid and we have thrust arrow just in case, gloves and everything else. All right, so we are going to nickel metal charge all the way up to six amps. So it's pretty much just gonna go all the way until, you know, whenever. Uh, I guess we'll pump six amps in it and hopefully that'll be enough and there you go we're charging quick check we are at 14.6 volts almost at the storage charge voltage of a four cell and that's a three cell chilling back here in the trunk hopefully uh yeah Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Even if you had a little tiny battery in that kind of LiPo safe bag, your house would still catch on fire. About five minutes passed and it is still on fire, guys. Yeah. The wind is pretty sporadic, so it's really not even gonna matter which way I'm gonna push it. I uh, just really don't want to twist the car. Look at that. Completely charred. All right, so I guess we're just gonna try to put it out now. Whole bag is still sizzling. This bag is gone. So everything is all cool to the touch, and I'm just gonna pretty much put this in a bag. Oh my God, it is so stuck. All you see inside are a few cells, just completely decimated. And that battery was this big, literally. Very, very dangerous stuff if you don't do this stuff the right way. Now that battery was about yay big. What if we do something six or seven times the size with a whole nother cell in it? Say bye-bye. This is our farewell. Put them in here, I'm gonna tip it all the way around, but I also have a metal plate underneath. I did not realize that little tiny 3S would actually do some damage. Uh, so yeah, we're actually gonna have a safer approach with this. And we are off, we're at 16.8 volts, it's a fully charged battery. We're charging at seven amps, nickel metal. I'm uh, gonna stand way back here now. Uh, you know what? It's probably gonna blow up even more. <sighs> probably gonna wanna move everything back. I smell the bubble gum. Whoa, whoa! Holy moly. Jesus, oh my God, there goes my charger. Wow, holy Christ. That was only a four cell. <sighs> oh, my poor charger. All right, I'm just gonna let it cool down. I'll be back in like five minutes. And just look at that, nothing is left. If anything, it is one big smelly marshmallow roasted on an open fire. Unfortunately, the same thing goes with my charger. Honestly, I was gonna blow up the 6S, but I don't feel comfortable doing it with the charger. Uh, I'm not gonna push it. Now, if you guys don't know what an ammo can is, 100% steel all the way around. It's not even aluminum. Uh, it locks up, it could be waterproof, depending on some ones that you get. Oh my God, there's nothing left. Nothing left. I'm really just gonna do my best to clean up here. It's crazy, you see all the individual layers inside each cell. One, two, three, four. That is just ridiculous. Here's one cell. So broke. It's hard to do this with one hand. Third cell. Third cell. Third cell. cell number three. Oh, come on. 
close enough. Unfortunately, the charger is out of commission, which breaks my heart, but that's the necessary evil with doing this. And what you're probably thinking is, hey, why didn't you use longer extensions so you wouldn't even risk the charger? Real world scenario, charge leads are like six to eight inches long. We were two to three feet away from that battery and the battery bag was covering it 100%. That's how dangerous batteries are, guys. Honestly, the biggest thing that'll combat that is gonna be that liquid uh, fire spray. That's gonna be the absolute best combat. Now, if you guys were hyped about seeing this battery go up, well, have no fear. I actually have another one of those exact chargers. Not saying I'm gonna keep blowing my chargers up, but hey. So if you enjoyed that, guys, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe below. We'll have a lot more cool things just like this. Uh, maybe not as dangerous coming out. Also check out the Innovation RC Instagram. We'll have more pictures, videos, and other cool things on there as well. Definitely do that. I've always seen videos of light bulbs going up, this and that, but experiencing it in person, it's, uh, it's unimaginable, honestly. All right, guys, so that's about all that I have for today. Can't do anything else anyways. So as always, make sure you guys stay safe and have a good one.